Superstorm Sandy hit Rhode Island's coast hard last October, significantly damaging Newport's iconic cliff walk. And as we reported last week, a plan to restore the landmark and protect it from future damage is upsetting area surfers. Now the opposition is getting national attention. There's an article in today's Wall Street Journal about all the controversy. Highway to News reporter Shante Lance is in the newsroom now with the latest developments. More than 6,000 people have signed an online petition against a proposed cliff walk plan ahead of tonight's Newport City Council meeting. You can see them on store racks and worn by surfers. This Save Ruggles t-shirt campaign is the latest attempt by many in the Newport community to stop a proposal for construction that they say would harm the conditions for surfers. In an effort to repair and prevent future storm damage to the state's iconic cliff walk, the Department of Transportation is proposing a plan to create two temporary jetties, which are walls used for access and a permanent protective stone wall extending out from the cliff walk. But surfers like Tim Klemensky says the jetties will ruin the entire experience. They would basically obstruct any surfing that would get in the way. Ruggles Ave store owner and longtime surfer Sid Abruzzi agrees. Right smack dab in the middle of the surf break, right at the 50-yard line of the surf break, thus stopping any type of rideable wave at the Ruggles area. But Robert Smith with DOT says the jetties will eventually be removed, and this plan is a great opportunity. These are emergency repairs to the cliff walk, um, and the federal government has allowed us the opportunity to um, sort of take measures so that the same thing doesn't happen again in the future. He plans to listen to all residents' feedback during tonight's Newport City Council meeting. We want to fix the path. We want to do it quickly. We also want to make sure we do, you know, what's right for everybody to the fullest extent possible. Newport City Council has the controversial project on its docket ahead of tonight's meeting. Opposers say they'll be there, front and center. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.